Articles modified by the Board of Selectmen, if any. My understanding is they modified none. I did modify one of mine. Okay. We reconsidered the ADA. Well, they asked for a reconsideration vote, the majority, and I reconsidered it because during the... Are you talking about the sidewalk? The, uh, the regular ADA for the 100000 to start a capital... The sidewalk fund, yeah. Yes, yeah. to start okay. a capital right improvement right. fund. And actually, let me get to the one article. Article 30. Article 30? Yep. Thank you. So I had the Jen Hale discussion at the Board of Selectmen meeting, and then subsequently today after the flood meeting we had, I talked with her again about it, and I also shared similar concerns with what we just talked about with the Mace Road Warren article. And she reiterated again to me that although this money is not going to really be enough to accomplish anything, the fact that we have this capital reserve fund set, set up will help us in order to get grants for whatever road projects we decide to do. And I told her that my concern is with this fund being set up that I want to see the fund grow. The reason why we have appoint the Board of Selectmen as agents to expend from said fund <coughs> is because if there's a project that needs to get to this money related to roads that it is going to be easier for public works to come to the Board of Selectmen and ask for the money to be dispersed instead of having to wait till the following year to put it in another warrant article where the project will have to get delayed to finish the sidewalks. That's what the deputy here <coughs> and I conversed about this afternoon. So I just wanted to relay that information to the board. And I think that along with what Mr. Warburton just said, that these things are going to be a lot easier to, pro to approve if we can have a plan that we can see and we can follow. So if we set this up, if it gets approved by the voters, it's not going to really be much to do anything, but we will have the funds set up. And hopefully it will work similar to the way that the uh, road improvement fund works. Actually, when I said uh, articles modified deal by the board select today, I wasn't including them changing their recommendation. Uh, so. Well, I'm okay trying to address concerns, that's all. Um, that's okay, because I will also entertain uh, at this time any desire to reconsider any warrant articles uh, that we've already, well, actually we voted on all of them except the budget warrant article. So if there is a desire to reconsider any warrant article, please state it now. I thought there was a warrant article on the firemen, adding four firemen. Yeah, the so-called safer thing. Yeah, I thought that that was put off. And the final vote. No, we voted. I, I thought we voted. No, I like to vote on that. What about Article 18? Or, or am I incorrect on that? What are we doing what with this you, one? Frank, yeah, can we, get to I thought I asked that we consider this one for the budget. Well, you, you didn't. You just explained that we well, could we? I would. I have a request to reconsider several, actually, based on information I obtained earlier today. So. Oh, I just saw a 0, 0, 0 across 18. That's why I just brought it up. Uh, but would. So you want to, so you want is there any objection to uh, Regina's desire to reconsider the sidewalk uh, capital reserve <coughs> fund? I see no objection. No, out of fairness to the selectmen, I, rep, I, think I don't have a problem to consider it, but I'll make mm -hmm. some comments. Again. So I, we are now reconsidering the uh, sidewalk uh, capital reserve fund more article, formerly known as 31. Yeah, which is now 30. Yep. Yeah. Whatever it is now. No, no, I know. I just. Mr. LeBranch. Um, what I'm seeing on the on the thing up there, Tim, it says recommended by the Board of Selectmen 211, and the handout that Christy gave. Yeah, they changed that vote Monday night. To 401. Yeah. Okay, so that's the yeah. discrepancy. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mr. Weber. I'm going to comment. I'm going to use a baseball term. Regina's close to third base, but here's the only issue I have with what you're saying. The last two minutes ago, and well, no, could follow my thought because it's what somebody brought up Monday night about money. The 520,000 for a mile-long sidewalk, and they're asking 500,000 dollars. We're at, you're asking us to reconsider on something that to add 100,000 to a capital reserve fund. That's going to buy us nothing. It would take us years to even be able to, re never mind build new ones, repair. 
I, I like Jen Hale's concept, but this is it goes almost against what we said in the prior article is that, I mean, we're talking 520,000 to do a mile long sidewalk on one side of the road. I almost think, you know, we, we just go back to have, like we used to have sidewalk money in the budget. I mean, this is, I think, 100,000 to put in a capital reserve fund. You know how many years that's going to take? We have millions of dollars worth of sidewalks. Okay. But if we have the reserve fund set up, then we can start planning for what we need to put in it. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I know that the $100,000 really isn't going to get us anywhere, except that it will start the fund up. But remember, we, we, those of us who were in favor of the road improvement, Mike and I, 300000 it took us five years to get what we needed. I'm just saying, and that was a critical number because we needed actually six years to get the 80-20. Uh, but I, I just, I, I don't think, and the, here it is, I, I just don't think it's something that's going to be, just to throw 100000 into a fund, I, I, it's going to take a long time for that. But anyway, okay. that's all. Anybody else that? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. Anybody else want to comment <coughs> for the first time on this? Mr. LeBranch. The road improvement fund that we put 300000 into every year, and then when they actually have something they want to do, then they have a warrant article, and then the voters vote to spend the money that's in the in the fund. Is that correct? I believe the road improvement fund, the board of selectmen, are the, uh, are they the agents? agents, is that correct? No, they're not. They're not. Is. Tom Meeting That's is. what okay. I thought. Then you're correct. Right. Okay. Yeah. I like, I like that, okay. The, I have a little bit of a problem <clears throat> with this particular one. I don't mind putting money into a fund, but when it comes to spending it, I'd like to be able to vote on what they decide they're going to use it for. Mm -hmm. So if they decide to do a mile of Mace Road or two miles or whatever it is, I want to be able to vote on that. Mm -hmm. I understand that you know this can be built up for five years, six years, and have enough money to do it. But I want to be able to vote, just like we do with the <coughs> road, just like we do with the road fund. That's the only thing I have that's a problem with it, okay? Okay. Thank you. Anybody else Here's wish to speak for the first time oh, on for this? for the first time, I'm sorry. I said one quick point. I, I have. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, you just right. haven't spoken yet? No, I haven't. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I really like the, the idea of a, a sidewalk capital reserve fund. And, until I started digging into the details on this one, which caused me to have to be uh, opposed to it, um, one that Steve just said about the uh, the agent thing. I don't see the justification in having <coughs> to disperse money um, in for a year. Why I can't wait for Tom meeting? I just don't see a valid example of that. Um, the thing that really set me off, though, is when I was looking at um, DPW CIP plan. They had Mace Road in there for 2020. I think it was to be done. That really set me off especially given that I was getting people in my ear telling me it's just another slash fine blah, 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 kind of thing, you know, that kind of noise. And I was kind of pushing that kind of thinking to the side. But when I saw the Mace Road fund, uh, the Mace Road project, I thought, how the hell did that get in there? We just, the voters just right. rejected doing it. And now suddenly, because we're going to put it in the CIP plan, it's somehow now sacrosanct. I, I see it the other way around. If the voters said yes on it, then it became sacrosanct. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I see that as you know some sort of uh, situation that is very undesirable and probably will repeat itself over time. Also, um, the sidewalk reserve fund here includes building new ones, and I think that definitely, if you're going to put in a new sidewalk or even a new road that we're going to build, <laughs> town meeting ought to be voting on that one. Mm -hmm. Now it may be that there are there are developments in which the developer develops the sidewalk and then gives them to the town, but then it becomes a maintenance slash repair thing. <coughs> and I don't really have a problem with a uh, sidewalk fund that is just dedicated to maintenance and repair and replace even, but not for building new, because that would like take it away from the voters to decide uh, on that. Uh, I know there are people, as there are from time to time, who will complain about the number of warrant articles on our ballot. And it's perplexing to me 
that people who have held office for a number of years aren't able to point out when they're asked the question, why do we have to have so many damn Warren articles, that the correct answer is, because we have so much damn democracy. <laughs> If you don't have the ability to vote on issues, all you have to do is the ability to vote on people running for office based on what? Personalities and all that good stuff. Uh, you don't get an opportunity to vote on issues. That's what town meeting is all about. You want to take away that democracy? But we're experts. That's why we get That's what you do when you take away Warren articles. You're taking away that democracy. So. Jerry has his. Go ahead, Jerry. My only point is that I like to see it like Steve, a warrant article written specifying the streets and the roads that will be done unless a contingency arises that can be explained at the next session. And then the money it's going to take, and you ask the people to vote for it. That's what I like to see. And that goes for roads, too. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. We, uh, Brian. Did you go ahead, Mike? You well, I, I was just going to say maybe this should come back next year rewritten. Huh. Yeah, uh, absolutely. To mimic the capital improvement program for the road fund, so that the people can vote to put the money in there, and then they can vote as to what it's going to be spent on, rather than build up a fund and then have some project that gets approved and cleans it out. Well, that's You'll why never I don't, get anywhere. I don't with get this concept of building up the fund. Right now, right. you've got $100,000 going in the fund, and if you look at DPW CIP for next year, they got $100,000 for sidewalks. They got it spent. Six hundred. So I don't. See, where's the build up? I don't see it. It's yeah, like yeah, put it in, there. take it out. Kind of thing. Isn't there? What's Brian, it? I just had. Um, uh, so glad you brought that. Up. I actually, a question, Mr. Wells, in reference to what Mr. LeBranch said. You know, for many years we did put three hundred thousand dollars in that capital reserve fund, but then there were lean years yeah. where we didn't put as much or nothing. Is that correct, Fred? We took out probably. I think all the years I've been here, we put money in every year. But you didn't put three hundred thousand though. Yeah, we did. You it did. Started, yeah. started at three fifty. Yeah, pretty year. uniform. But we had three fifty. It's not, the reason I say that because boards change. And, and right. to your point, and the other comment I'm going to make, and I agree with so wholeheartedly, Mr. Plupp. Uh, Selectman Woolsey is, I think, on the right track with this chat, you know, developers developing sidewalks and stuff. But let's all remember McDonald's uptown. Yeah. They never finished that, right, Mike? The uh, uh, south side Anne's, 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 Anne's Lane, Lane that was never done and the promises that were made. Yeah. So I think, based on Stephen and everybody's input, I almost think this needs to wait the next year, too. I think we've got to put some more thought in this. Well, we did ask uh, the selectmen to reconsider on a number of points on this. Yes. And they chose not to. Right. Uh, now the selectmen's representative have asked us to reconsider. Yep. And we are reconsidered. Right. And uh, I assume we're done with the reconsideration and now we want to vote? Is yes. Fair? Right. Okay. All those or who actually favor this, raise your hand, please. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, a motion uh, to recommend by Mr. LeBranch, seconded by Jerry. Regina Jerry. Barnes. No, no, it was Jerry. Thank you, oh, Steve. Oh. No, I pulled my I was myself. confused. I'd love to be seconded. Mary oh, I'd love to second it. <laughs> Are we administrative okay now? <coughs> That's it. All right. So we've got the we got the yeas. We do? Yeah. Yeah. Zero. Yeah, zero. Was zero. Easy count. Oh, okay. Uh, and now all those in opposed to recommending this, raise your hand. Uh, that would be everyone. That would be everyone. So zero at eight, eight. So you can tell your board we were happy to oblige their desire for zero us to reconsider. Zero eight, zero. And it yeah, actually Regina. cleaned up our vote. No, Regina, what did you, you vote? I voted with the committee. Yes, she did, yeah. Okay, eight, that is eight. Was that like a surprise? A little back and forth You'll on that one, but <laughs> now I'm done. <laughs> so it's zero uh, eight, right? Regina Vogler, she 